Hi everybody, this is Anandal. Today's Tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to make a hardcover textbook with a faux leather look. Here are these two books at the bottom I've recently made. I wanted to look at using different materials that would be easier to emulate a miniature scale book. If you see here at the top, I've previously done a demonstration where I showed you how I made this particular book here. I had printed out this cover off the computer and then I used a layer of cardstock to wrap around it. And then I did individual signatures using regular printer paper to make the pages on the inside. So this method is similar, but I'm using different materials so it would be easier for the miniature scale of these books. One of my biggest concerns is when my doll holds a book, I don't want the doll's hands to be using too much force to try to make the book stay open. So I wanted to use different materials that would give the book more elasticity so that it would remain open in their hands. This has less pressure on it. I'm putting less pressure with my hands in order to keep it open. Unlike in my previous method of making books, because of the thickness of the materials, and the way the book is constructed, it's hard to open the books. And if I use too much force, it begins to come apart at the middle. So I want to look at using different materials to fix those problems. So I'll be making a book for this tutorial that's an in-between size, this small version, this big one. I'm doing one that's somewhere in the middle. So we'll take a look at that. The pages of the book is one of the first things that I changed about this method compared to my first demonstration. So in this older book here, Bromia Island Saga, for the inside pages I used regular printer paper on the inside. And I think that the paper would be fine if you were using a bigger size book. It would work okay if the book was larger, maybe for a 70 centimeter doll, but if I'm making a book for a smaller doll, these pages are still too thick when you start scrunching them into this type of size. And so the book really wants to force its way open. It never wants to stay fully closed. So for this small book here, I decided to use a sketchbook paper that was thinner. I would also say you could use for this, to make it even easier for even tinier books, you could use tracing paper or gift wrapping paper, something extremely thin, and that would give the book an easier time of closing and opening and not having to always force the pages closed. So for this tutorial, I've got these thin sheets of sketchbook paper. So I'll be cutting these out this will be the size of my individual pages. I have this sketch here. I'm going to be making my pages two and one eighth inch by two and three quarter inches. So that's this dimension here. But the way I want to cut out my paper, I want to make it double the size. So this length here at the bottom will double, making it four inches and one quarter. So I'll be cutting out a number of these and I'll be making signatures each with three sheets like this and then fold it in the middle. So 
So you can see here, I've threaded the center holes, these two here at the middle, and I've only put just a simple double knot there, and then I've left a long piece of thread hanging from it before I cut it off from the rest of the spool. And you'll want to leave this long thread hanging because once all the signatures are threaded on all three sides, then you can use this long thread to tie all the signatures together. That way, there'll be three giant knots, one here at the top, one here at the center, and one here at the bottom, which are all connected through the long threads here. So now that we've got that, we're going to take all these threads here, we're going to make three big knots, one here, one at the center, and one here at the end. And then we're going to add a dab of super glue to those three knots before we start using our hot glue to connect it to the pieces of our actual cover. And so once it's aligned, I'm using these two clips to help me keep everything straight. I'm just going to lean it against this bottle. So the spine and the hardcover, that will be made of these three pieces here. These will act as the hardcover to the actual book, which will be wrapped in this faux leather looking shelf lining paper. So it's like a vinyl shelf lining application. Um, it's got an adhesive backing, so I can remove this white paper at the back and stick that onto this. You can use some cardboard. You want something that's a little bit thick and heftier because I'm trying to make the hardcover to be not too heavy but have a little bit of weight and thickness to it to help keep the book compressed. So these will be wrapped in that vinyl lining and then on the inside here where we've applied the glue we're going to add a new layer of hot glue and attach it to this middle piece which makes up the, the hard portion of the spine. So this is one centimeter thick and you want your pages to be less than that. So now I'm going to start cutting up the vinyl shelf lining here and we're going to make it 
to fit these three plastic pieces to make the hardcover. The three plastic sides, the two sides for the front and back, and the plastic for the middle, which would be the spine, they are now covered in the vinyl shelf liner. The shelf liner, this vinyl covering, it's flexible so that it allows the book to easily open and close. It has some stretch to it, so I think it's a good covering material for these types of hard book covers for miniature sized books. And now you've got the glue here on the edges of the spine for the interior pages. This will be glued. I'm going to use hot glue again to glue it there. And then I'm going to use regular a regular glue stick for this front page here, just this side there, and glue it here to the front of the book. And the same at the back. I'm going to glue this back sheet to this side there. And then the book will be done. Here's the finished book. I've highlighted the embossed image with some gold paint and added a little gem at the middle. And I've coated the edges of the textbook cover with the same gold paint here on the edges of the spine. And then I added the little ribbon to like a bookmark here at the center. So I, I just glued that, attached it with the same hot glue that was at the spine. So here's the finished book, and because the the vinyl here is good, and nice and flexible, it's easier to open the book, and it also stays shut more easy too, compared to the other books that I made previously. So I hope you like this tutorial, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next Tutorial Tuesday. Bye!